Hey everyone, this is Kayla from Anima. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the Anima plugin for Figma. Let's start by downloading the plugin from the plugins page in our web app. Click install plugin, give us a like, and then click install. Now when we go to Figma, we can right click anywhere on our design, open up our plugins, and select the Anima plugin. Make sure you're logged into your Anima account, and then you're set up to take a look around. Under the Prototype tab in the Anima plugin, you'll see all of the prototype features you can add using Anima, in addition to the native Figma features which Anima supports as well. You can make your prototypes more interactive and impressive by adding hover effects, entrance animations, different types of media like videos, GIFs, and bodies, embedded code snippets, live text inputs and forms, parallax scroll effects, and material design components from our widget library. Next is our Responsive tab, this is where you can add multiple breakpoints to your designs and choose to use constraints that you've set up with Figma. Check out our video about breakpoints attached in the description to learn more. If you'd like to export your design's code before previewing, first make sure you're using an Anima Pro account. Then you can go to the Get Code tab and choose which code framework you'd like to export into, HTML, React, or Vue. Once you're satisfied with your design, you can choose to preview it or go straight to sync directly from the plugin. Don't forget that whatever effects you've added with the plugin will only display in Anima's preview or synced projects and not in Figma's preview. Now let's select the frames we want to preview from our design. From this preview window, you can check out your design and make sure everything is working properly. Once we're satisfied, click sync to project where you'll be asked to select your team or workspace and your project. Find the relevant workspace, and then either choose an existing project or create a new one. We'll go ahead and sync, and there you have it! Our project is now synced and saved inside our Anima web app. From here, we can play our prototype, view the code to see the different code for all of our elements, or if we're using a pro account, click on export code to hand off all of this code to your developer. And that's how we get started! If you like what you see, give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more! Don't forget to check out our other videos to learn more about how to use each of Anima's prototype features, like adding forms and videos, collaborating with your teammates, and more. Thanks for watching!